screen. The green screen is pretty funny, man. I think I could, you could put literally anything that you want on this thing. Let me be at the club. Hey, hey, hey. Let me go to church. See, it's lit, man. It's lit, green screen, but. Good YouTube, TP Locks here, bringing you guys another video. Yes, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my starter lock journey, all the phases that encapsulate the starter lock journey. I'm gonna be showing you from month one all the way up to the year, okay? I'm gonna be showing you guys the phases, photos, when I was able to do styles, when I was able to do wash and go. It's gonna be giving you guys an in-depth view of what that starter lock journey was for me, okay? It's been a video that's been highly requested by several people just wanting to know a little bit more about my journey specifically, so I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys today, okay? The green screen, I'm gonna be showing you guys the photos in the back it's gonna be my first time trying this so it's gonna be pretty fun all right let's get into it if you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button right now this channel specializes in dreadlock journeys for sure but we also give you vlogs other entertainment if you like this video you might like other ones so go and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell all right stay tuned now for the sake of the video i am going to be using my phone basically to you just basically use it for reference so if i'm looking down forgive me i am just looking at my phone to basically talk to and refer to the photos that i'm, I'm basically talking about all right photos i'm looking at down here are the photos that are going to be showing back here all right this first photo is just a photo of where my hair started i hadn't grown my hair out even a year up to the point that I decided to get my hair locked. So it was very, very short. You know, it wasn't something that was braidable. It just was very, 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 very short hair. So that's that photo right there. Really nothing too significant. But again, this is all at the top of 2018. Going on into March, I did get my locks done in February 24th. So I didn't have a photo of that, unfortunately, but I did have a photo probably about two weeks post retwist. So that's what this photo is here. And as you can see, man, it's nothing special. Very, very short starter locks. Definitely um, a little bit more substantial up at the top, but on the sides, very, very short, prone to coming out. Very, very rough to start at that length, but you know, that's where I started. One thing I can tell you as a tip to sort of get through that phase, you know, I was definitely rocking it and it definitely helped to have a high top set because with high top set, it was really just a matter of just letting the hair lay back and just keeping a good fresh lineup. It's very, very easy to deal with the quote unquote rough phase. Now here we go into uh, April. In April, man, again, you, here's a very good close up of just some of the frizz, some of the, you know, disorder that you're, you know, my locks were prone to. Nothing glamorous about this. Nothing glamorous about this. You know, now we're into basically our second month of locks and still not really having something that looks like a lock just a part of that process and one of the more common you know questions that i get from people is like you know when is your hair gonna lock i just got my hair about two weeks in you know when is it gonna do what it needs to do here's case in point here you guys you know we're basically two months in now in april and still doesn't look like what dreadlocks are quote unquote supposed to look like so you know just keep that in mind you're gonna have to put some time and get some skin in the game before your hair is gonna look like what you want it to look like all right now going into may beautiful thing about may was i started to bud a lot more a lot more budding you know a lot more locks that stayed put when i washed them which was an amazing thing but you know at least 60 to 70 percent of my hair still was not at that lock fade a lot of my locks on the side look like you know they were barely holding on very very small locks keep that in mind you know this this phase got some budding but not all my hair that is typical some of your hair will lock quicker than the other parts of your hair i know for me my crown and other parts in the back of my hair tend to take a little bit longer to lock because they are different textures but i definitely did have locks more buds in the front earlier on now going on into may you can see here from this photo this post wash look i can rock it for the most part even the ones on the side are are you know holding up pretty well it made it really easy, like I said a little bit earlier, it made it really easy to rock this look when it wasn't all over your head. Similar to the look that everyone um, rocks these days anyway, they call it the Thought Boy haircut. It was very similar to that. Once you would wash, you had a fresh lineup, it looked great. So I didn't really have any problems in May with my, my hair not looking like locks, because even when it didn't, it just looked like a dope haircut. So. May really wasn't very difficult for me at all. Of course, you can see here with the retwist, that was probably my most, my least favorite look because of course the hair is just all matted. You know, it again, getting longer, 
um, and still not the glamorous part of the journey. So we go into June. So what had happened was, <laughs> oh, um, I, I tried to dye my hair in June of 2008 um, or 2018. And the reason was, you know, when you start that short, you guys, it's very, very difficult to really maintain that discipline and patience to just wait and allow your hair to get that full year. I advise you guys to wait the full year because from experience, I just know that my hair would be in a lot better shape had I waited that year. I know what it was like before the dye jobs and after the dye jobs. And I know each time I've dyed my hair, my hair's lost a little something something so i did experiment with some dye it was a horrible look i did not like it and i dyed my hair right back black <laughs> probably like a week later all right you can see here august and that's very odd i didn't have anything in july i do have one for august um, around this time in august i was in st louis for a design and inclusion conference but apparently i only have one only have one photo like this. I will tell you this, the interesting thing is August was actually the first month that I started doing like braid style. At this month in August of 2018, was able to braid those locks and give me a style. It was dope. Again, is it something that I could do? Absolutely. Is it something that I should have done? Eh, you know, who's to say? The, the braid style looked great from what the pictures, you know, from the little pictures that I do have. It looked great, it felt great. The problem was all of my locks weren't fully developed. And when I say fully developed, all of my locks hadn't even budded yet. Most of them were there, but you know, I had locks in the back that were still, you know, struggling to sort of take their lock form. So it wasn't advantageous for me to put those locks in a braid style that early. That's just my humble opinion. But I did do a braid style in this month in August. I think this is me post me taking it out, but you can also see that I dyed that color, that hair right back black. You can see a little remnants of it, but you know, no real significant changes. You can see that my hair is, you know, budded a lot more. There's a little bit of frizz, which, you know, sort of encapsulates that second phase of the locks as well. And as you can see, I got that fresh fade, which is key, major key, when you're going through these lock phases um, with the high top set. So. It was really cool. Now, going into September, going into September, I love this phase because this was probably one of the first phases where it was hardening, it was feeling more like mature locks. It just had the overall look and appeal of you know, locks that were fully locked. By this point, I could do a full wash and go, no problems. You know, I was able to pretty much do a little bit of everything. I was, I could dye my hair, obviously. You know, I could wash it and really not have too much issues and still feel like it was rocking. It was starting to hang a little bit. It was shaking a little bit. You know, this September was a great time period for me. It was a great time period for me because it sort of felt like the locks had dropped, really. <clears throat> going into October, you can see I'm getting a lot more length. Not only am I getting length, um, just like in September, I'm also getting some girth, some thickness, Paul's, you know, my hair is, a, I'm able to wash and go and just let the hair do what it do. Here you can see a little bit of that dye, you know, still sort of just basically lingering in that hair. Keep that in mind with dyes, that if you are gonna dye your hair, it can be a very tedious process keeping that color or keeping your hair the color that you want after that, it will fade. Most of the colors do tend to fade over time, so. But yeah, as you can see here in October, the hair definitely got thicker. You can see in the back there that there are some locks that seem to be a little bit more flat. Again, like I told you guys earlier, that is due to that different hair texture. But yeah, you know, going into October, it was pretty dope. You know, I could just wash my hair and go. Now, the crazy thing is, you know, I included this little shot from November because while my hair was doing all that progressing and all those angles seemed to show you my length, I was still sort of on the shorter side of locks. Here we are in November, basically, right? And we're talking about basically nine months in my journey and that is the length of my hair. No shame in it, but like with most people, nine months in, there's a little bit more, you know, a little bit more hang time. I didn't have very much hang time, but what I did have was locks that were damn near fully locked at this point you know damn near one thing i liked about this this phase is that you know i don't know it was just those it's, it's something charm there's a there's a bit of charm factor with the shorter with the shorter locks especially this phase i think it was just really i don't know it was just i don't know there's a certain like swag about these at this length you know i was definitely feeling them and had gotten a full swing of the lock journey by this point 
Now going into December, by this point, the locks are just completely cylindrical. The frizz is dying down a little bit. I mean, as you guys can see from this shot, I mean, the locks are just, they have matured so well. I mean, they just look amazing. They look amazing at this point. Still short, um, but I love this phase. This was a great phase because again, you know, I feel like at, this was the phase where my locks had finally matured. That's why I'll say, I feel like my locks had finally come to a space where they were a little bit on the more mature side in, De in December, right? Now, just for a recap, I'm gonna, we're gonna go all the way back to the top, right? Now, this is just a recap for everybody who's very interested in those benchmarks, all right? I started to bud around May. May, I started to bud just a little bit. That's when I started to bud. And again, I didn't bud in all of my hair, but you know, the buds did start in the very front of my locks in May. You know, that's roughly what, three months? February, March, April, May, yeah, about three, four months. I'd say it took me about five months. So three months, three to four months to bud. It took me about five months to basically confidently wash and go with no problems. <laughs> By like month six or seven, I was dying with no problems. By August, I was able to do styles. By September, you know, my hair was a lot more mature. It wasn't fully mature, but it was getting to a space where my locks were hardening up. I didn't have as many of those hollow locks. Of course, in October, I was able to fully wash and go, no problem. You know, the hair is starting to thicken up a lot more in October as well. And in December, November, you know, my hair was just maturing. It was doing a lot of maturing. It was gaining length. It was just a great phase for me. And so in totality, you guys, I mean, and I hope, hopefully this video comes together really well. When it comes to these, these lock phases, you guys, you gotta understand it's gonna take its time. My journey getting to this point, if you guys have seen now, didn't happen overnight. This length didn't happen overnight. In fact, it, it felt like at times, you know, my hair before it was getting longer or it really started to drop, it had to mature. I just wanted to share this thing, this journey with you guys, because, you know, for one, just to let you guys know that I'm going through or I have gone through exactly what you've gone through. I did get through it. You, know, you do have images now to show you um, that I got through it when I got through it. And again, we're sitting now in 2020. These are pictures from 2018. So just understand that perseverance, commitment will see you through this lock journey, you guys. Everybody, all you guys' locks are gonna turn out great. Just trust the process and just believe it, all right? Like, use this video as inspiration. Use this video as a guide to sort of keep you in tune with what is to be expected of your locks and your, your journey, okay? It's TP Locks, hopefully this video helped. If it did, go ahead and give it a like. This has been TP Locks, signing out.